capital and this is one of the biggest rivalries in Spain two teams from Madrid is a special place a stadium every football fan should visit should he or she get the chance the Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid I'm Derek Ray ready to bring you match commentary and alongside me is Stuart Robson an action coming up from the Spanish top division La Liga it's Real Madrid against Atletico Madrid well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Kepa stands between the posts. David Alaba plays with Antonio Rudiga in central defence. Tony Kroos plays alongside Federico Valverde in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. Promising sequence. Oh, that surely had to go in. But marvellous defending. This is the starting lineup for Atletico. Jan Oblak stands between the posts. Marcos Llorente starts alongside Koke in central midfield. And up front, Antoine Griezmann starts alongside Morata. Well, the great thing about Federico Valverde is he can be used in a number of different positions. What might we see from him today? Well, Derek, whether he's on the run, driven shot, hitting a volley, or even shooting with the inside of his foot, he strikes the ball with such power. And this is why he beats the goalkeeper so often. He's a tremendous striker of the ball. And Morata's in the vicinity. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Federico Valverde. This is Kroos. Vinicius Junior. Quick thinking defensively. Vinicius Jr. Here's Modric. Just can't get it past him. Marcos Llorente. Coke with it. Now well Molina. Savage now. Molina. Really good challenge. Morata. Rodrigo. The ball with Luka Modric. Federico Valverde. Very comfortable when in possession. Modric. chance then for the respective managers to address their charges it is half time here you might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far but not every aspect Stuart well, it certainly wasn't his best half of football he was slightly off the pace and he gave the ball away too easily at times but we know he can do much better into the second half then here at the Bernabeu for that final pass looking for the goal that would put them ahead Modric Valverde and now Rodrigo the ball with Luka Modric it's with Vinicius Junior and the pass not finding its target Can they hit them on the counter? Oh, bruising past him. Saul, can they slot it home? Well, able to survive that attacking push. Well, that could prove to be a massive moment in the game. 
just when it looked as though Atletico would take the lead, the goalkeeper has produced a wonderful save. He really has. Playing with Brett. Oh, good save. Excellent header. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. They take it short. And a useful cross. from them now 20 minutes to go in this one Koke now well Molina a lot of momentum to this Atletico attack well it's a very attractive passing sequence Rodrigo de Paul The cross is on. Deciding to go inside. Griezmann. And return to Griezmann. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Rodrigo de Paul, Samuel Lino. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Verde. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. And there's the full time whistle. Maximum points for Real Madrid. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly that midfield area, and they also look threatening in the top third of the pitch. So, this performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. 